All right, so let's see what's going to happen if we poke him here a little bit. Are I going to get us a toki toki bark? No? How about you? Okay, I think I'm going to have to go in with my hand. That'll work <laughs> every time. So it is trying to bite, but it's more of a bark. Oh, there we, there we got a bite. Now these guys are known to be kind of the pit bulls of uh, geckos. They're pretty large. They're from Indonesia, Asia. They've made their way to Florida now, running around in the Everglades. And uh, as you can see, they're quite robust little geckos. And uh, when they bite, they often will have their eyeballs go right to the head. They hold on for a long time, but luckily my guys are a little bit more calm. If you're lucky to get one of these guys as a captive born and bred baby and you handle it from young, they are known to be actually somewhat sociable. Um, but most of the ones you're finding on the market at the pet stores and expos are what's called wild caught because there's not a whole lot of market to the people that are breeding these because the morphs aren't working out the same way. So they're not making as much on them. So a lot of them are wild caught because it's easier for people to go and buy them and pull them out of the bushes and that kind of stuff, right? So um, they don't always have the best attitude. But they are pretty cool and look, neat looking. Here, we'll go for one more bark. Oh, that was a good one. One more. Oh, really got on there. Okay, <laughs> that's enough. We'll leave you guys alone. I do handle them sometimes for presentations, but it's fun to show kids because not a lot of people realize that they can bark. It's pretty neat. All right, thanks for tuning in to the creature feature, you guys. Uh, we got, I think, one more coming up, and then we'll be good to go.